When I first went and saw the drill hall at the armory, the first feeling I had was of complete fear, really. Like, wow, that's an amazing place. Uh, what could I possibly do there? Or how could I possibly compete with that? It's an equivalent of the world, you know, because I'm just a little guy in the world. I didn't want to try to just fill that space. I can feel sometimes that the art galleries are very inward looking, that they're closed off from the world because they're places that are designed to keep things precious, you know, things that people value in one way or another. I think it can be that it gets removed from the world so it's got nothing to do then with the world anymore. But also thinking about, you know, like living in a kind of fantasy world or, you know, in relation to the real world. You know, if there was a way to use this massive space to kind of like turn it inside out, instead of creating a fantasy world inside, try to use the space to look at the world. While I was there, I noticed the back door being opened and the space was quite dark. There's a delivery on a truck coming in and it was amazing I thought it was like an amazing film like a film of the street it's a very um, saturated strong picture that is there to be seen you know and there's people walking past or whatever they're driving walking past whatever they're doing I had the idea to do the film of someone opening their mouth because I, at home, like opening my mouth when I'm eating, uh, you know, to gross out my um, partner and my stepdaughter. In the last year, I was thinking, oh, I should do a film of it because it's important to me. <laughs> because <laughs> I like doing it so much, you know. Probably needed to be slow motion so that you get the mouth opening really captured. I don't really understand or know why. I just thought that it should be all women. And I simultaneously thought it should needed to have my mother in it because everyone comes from inside their mother. It's got to do with the inside and outside, I suppose, and the fact that we're all, in a way, people are always trying to cover up the inside, you know. You're trying to control yourself, you know, you have to. The balloon work, I came about from despair really as well and despairing of what I could possibly do in the world and what materials to use. A similar starting point as the lights going on and off, thinking what can I possibly put in this room that is worth doing, that's relevant to people in their lives and to me and my life. So then I thought, but maybe, you know, the, the room is full of air and air takes the shape of the room and it takes the shape of the space between people. If I could find a way of making the air visible, maybe that, that could be the work, you know. In a way, the balloon thing is not that different from the back door because rooms are always full of air. It's just in this case, the, the air is made visible, you know. The view of the street is basically, I suppose, sort of theatricalized, you know, and you can enjoy the view, I suppose, possibly because you're in a dark space looking out and it's like a picture window. And in the case of the balloons, the air, you know, it's just an ordinary situation it's just that the, it's rendered absurd by the fact that the air is inside balloons you know i always liked this quote from picasso that he said that when he was 16 he could draw like tintoretto but it took him a lifetime to learn to draw like a child and if one could work more like a child i think it would probably be better I don't really distinguish particularly between these works that are in the exhibition and the performances. Trying to make on stage and off stage the same because I think of a gallery exhibition as a live work. Both of them are live experiences. You know, if a painting's on the wall, the painting might be a fixed static thing, but the people who are looking at the painting are moving and alive. So the experience of looking at a painting is always is a live one that happens in time. It's a live it's like a piece of theatre because the people are alive, you know, who are looking at it. And that's not any different from a, a, a theatre show, you know. We are bitten and clamped on We won't let go We're joined like dogs We're bitten and clamped on Listening, 
understanding, I'm understanding, I'm understanding, I'm understanding. We were arguing, and I was saying I'm a victim, and you were saying I'm a victim, and I was saying I'm a victim. It was as if you were really saying what it felt like you were saying. Quotation marks, quotation marks. You were saying, I was saying, I'm a victim. No, I'm a victim. I'm a victim. No, I'm a victim. No, I'm a victim. No, I'm a victim. I'm a victim. No, I'm a victim. No, I'm a victim. No, I'm a victim. Understand.